Hello, I want to talk to you this afternoon about unhelpful associations. And I don't mean uh, ditching your friends or breaking up with someone. I mean unhelpful associations in terms of emotions and events and how we link the two together when actually they don't belong together at all. So what has brought about this this musing. Well, today is the 1st of February and it's an absolutely beautiful day today. I keep looking out the window, which is just in front of me, but it's a beautiful day today. Um, it feels like the first day of spring, even though that isn't here yet. And I've just been out for a gorgeous walk with the dog. I was out with the walkers earlier on and we did a lovely three, three and a bit miles this morning and it was just too nice to call it a day there. So I came home and I grabbed the harness and Lottie and I went out and did another five miles all around the woodlands and the walkways of, of where we live. And I was thinking this morning about New Year's resolutions, how many people have abandoned theirs already, um, how many people didn't make them in the first place because they've either got so sick of trying and then failing, or they're just feeling in a place at the moment where don't know which way to turn and they don't know what to do and that really got me thinking about this whole concept of not very helpful associations. So I want to ask you to think about whether you are sabotaging yourself at the moment, what you might be doing or not doing that is holding you in a place where you're, you know, you've decided it's your comfort zone, but actually you're incredibly uncomfortable where you are at the moment. So how is that comfort zone really serving you? Is it your comfort zone or is it just feeling like a safer place because then you haven't got to do anything different? How OK would you be with still being here and feeling like you feel in five years time? It is what you're doing now actually going to affect your ability to be here and and feeling the things that you're feeling in five years time? Because quite often we will make a decision about what we're going to do or not do based on our past experiences. Now, lately I've gone back to something, but I had to reframe that in my head because going back to it for me felt a little bit like I was going backwards. And I realised that for a long time I'd resisted going back because I had attached a feeling of failure to that part of life, to that experience. It was something that actually was a very positive experience and then it, di it didn't stay positive. Um, so the whole thing I then associated with pain, frustration, a bit of shame, disappointment, embarrassment. They're all really helpful emotions, aren't they? Um, and so for a long time, I resisted going back, even though the logical part of my brain, when I look at it now, knows that actually it's a good thing to do. It's something that works. It's something that makes me feel better. It's something that makes me feel fitter, stronger, more energized, all of those things. But in my head, I had associated those emotions with that thing, glued them together and made it my truth. And, and, and it's bollocks. Frankly, it's it's nonsense. Why do we do that? So many of our fears, so many of our limiting beliefs are based on unhelpful associations. Something happens in the past and we don't necessarily remember the thing. We remember all of the emotions that came around it. And they're very rarely positive emotions. Embarrassment, fear, judgment, uh, shame, you know, all, all of those, all of those things, guilt sometimes. We can't go backwards because that makes us feel guilty. If we go backwards, we're, we're, we are, it's shameful. We can't save face and go backwards. We've got to keep moving forwards. So what we end up doing is discounting something that for the, for in the past has worked for us, that in the future may be a really beneficial thing for us to revisit. And we don't because of an unhelpful association we've made between that thing and some of the emotions that 
that that stirred up at one point in time. And actually, if we look back with a different pair of glasses on, for want of a better phrase, we may be able to reflect on positive things. If we really dig deep and if we look really, really hard, we may be able to find some positive emotions that we can associate with that thing, a sense of pride, a sense of achievement, a sense of growth. But somehow the volume on those has been turned right down because the volume on shame, embarrassment, you know, meh, all of these kind of things. Oh my God, I can't do that. Or oh, what are people going to think? All of that gets ramped up and amplified. So we have these unhelpful emotions and, you know, think about it. It could be, I can't possibly go back to that gym because they will remember that I joined for the last four Januaries and I've only ever lasted 13 days or um, I can't go back to that Zumba class because the teacher will remember that um, I joined at once and I only went four times and then I didn't pay for my next month's subscription because it was cold and I didn't want to go out that night so I didn't go so then we've associated embarrassment and awkwardness and all you know that kind of feeling with that but actually Zumba was amazing it was hilarious we loved it we felt brilliant after we'd gone and yes we used to fall over but we used to laugh all the time we really really used to enjoy it you know when you go to the gym there are so many people there they oh, genuinely do you think they're honestly noticing whether you've clocked in or clocked out that day yes they've got that data on a system but they've also got loads of other data on the system and they're always chasing people to come back for gym membership so stop talking yourself out of going because of this sense of shame and failure from the past because it's stopping you making good moves right here and right now. Maybe you won't walk back into a diet club. Maybe you won't pick up the phone and engage with someone who has supported you in the past because going back to that person and saying, do you know what? I think I need some more help. I need another conversation. That stuff we talked about before, I need to, ha I need to have some of those conversations again. It's not that I've forgotten them, but I need to revisit them. You know, is there, is there someone that you need to contact and have that conversation with because it's not going to be shameful and embarrassing. It's getting you back to a good starting place that has benefited you before. So put down the unhelpful association of those emotions that you've bolted on, unbolt that one and 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 chuck them away because you can bolt a lot more positive emotions onto here and bring that thing forward in your life to bring you the same or maybe even greater benefits than you had before. We limit our greatness by kind of hauling along this baggage of bullshit behind us. And how is it actually serving us? So what unhelpful associations could you have bolted on to things that now, if you gave it another go, they worked. They worked before. So why wouldn't they work again? And believing that that first step into, do you know what? This worked for me before. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to send that email. I'm going to click on that link. I'm going to join that again. I'm going to become part of that community again. What difference could that make to you? Making more helpful associations, bringing along more helpful and supportive emotions. What difference could that make to you in the next 28 days by the end of February? as we enter spring for real at the start of March, what difference could that make for you? What difference could that make for you in three months time? You know, as we get towards the end of spring and into the summer months, how could you be feeling then? You know, could you be feeling brighter, better, fitter, healthier, more energized and lively in every single way? Because you stopped talking yourself out of something and reminded yourself it's worked before and it can work again. So have a think about your unhelpful associations and what you can do to do things differently. <laughs>